Hi folks, and welcome to Impactful Life. My name is Rob, and I really appreciate you taking the time to visit our channel and check out today's video. This channel is all about helping you make an impact so you can lead a full life. Now, we're currently in the middle of a series of videos discussing one of the most famous books of all time, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. In our last video, we introduced the concept of an emotional bank account, and we described how the deposits and withdrawals that we make with other people have a profound impact on our relationships. Today, I'm going to share with you a quote from Dr. Covey himself and a story that goes along with it. I think you'll find this impactful, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now let's make an impact. Today's quote is from Dr. Stephen Covey, who once told a man who was attending one of his seminars, you can't talk your way out of problems you behave yourself into. Now this quote deals directly with our emotional bank account, which we discussed in our last video. Now if you haven't watched it yet, I'll provide you a link below. And today's video might make a little more sense to you if you understand this concept. Now I personally love quotes, and I've seen lots of them attributed to Dr. Covey but I've never seen this one, and I totally missed it the first time I read this book. Let me share the story behind this quote. At one of his seminars, a man came up to Dr. Covey and said, you know, I really don't enjoy coming to these seminars. Now that's probably not the best way to introduce yourself to the guy leading the seminar, right? And the guy went on to tell Dr. Covey that all he could think about was the grilling he was gonna get from his wife when they spoke on the phone that night. He explained that every time he was away from her, she'd question him about everything he did. How long did the session last? Where did you eat lunch? What'd you do afterwards? Who were you with? Basically asking him to account for every minute of the day. Now he went on to say that the only thing missing from these interrogations was her asking him who can she speak with to verify everything that he's telling her. Anticipating this routine made it almost impossible for him to enjoy the experience or get anything meaningful out of these types of workshops. He wanted Dr. Covey to understand how unreasonable his wife was being, and he wanted some advice on how to deal with it. Well, Dr. Covey talked to the man for a while, and then he discovered something interesting. The guy shared with him that he met his wife at a seminar just like this one, while he was married to someone else. Well, now, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Suddenly, her unreasonable behavior makes a little more sense. Now, I have to believe that Dr. Covey was at least a little tempted to smack this guy upside the head and wake him up. I wish he would have said something like, so you're telling me you left your wife for a woman you met at a seminar and now you're ex upset because that woman is a little interested in how you're spending your time whenever you leave her to go to a seminar? I mean, you're a special kind of clueless, aren't you? But of course, he didn't say that. He simply told the man, you can't talk your way out of problems you behave yourself into. This man made a huge withdrawal from the emotional bank account that he shares with his current wife, and there is no quick fix for that. I mean, as great as Dr. Covey was at helping people be effective in their relationships, you don't have to be an expert to see this guy had dug a huge hole for himself. There was no trust in his marriage, and it was all his doing. But instead of focusing on making deposits to build that trust back up, this guy just wanted to know, you know something that Dr. Covey could give him to help him get his wife off his back. Unfortunately, too many of us are in the same situation that this guy was in. Now, maybe we didn't cheat on our spouse, but we have someone in our life that just drives us crazy and we can't figure out what to do about it. We want our relationship with them to improve and we're waiting on them to change. We want a quick fix so everything will magically get better. What we don't want to do is take ownership of the problem and hold ourselves accountable for the state of the relationship. We don't want to look inside ourselves and figure out how we're contributing to the problem. I'm fine, they're the problem. If they just get their act together, we'd all get along just fine. Does this sound familiar? Well, if so, what can you do about it? How can you improve the relationship? What are some ways you can start making deposits into the emotional bank account? You'll be amazed at how small acts of kindness towards another person can turn around a relationship. And I mean little things. Hey, how was your weekend? Ooh, nice shirt, where'd you get that? Hey, great job on that presentation. Thank you so much for taking the trash out. I mean, all of these are deposits, and so are sincere apologies. And I'm really embarrassed about how I handled that the other day. I am truly sorry it will not happen again. On the other hand, we have withdrawals, things like lying, cheating, spreading gossip, or talking about someone behind their back. Or even little comments like, 
I'm not going to tell you again to clean your room. Or, what is it now? Or maybe, I just don't have time to deal with you right now. If you want to improve your relationship with someone, keep making deposits and limit your withdrawals. And keep in mind that one big withdrawal can wipe out the whole account. Just like with money, it doesn't matter how long you've been putting money into a savings account. Once you blow it, you got to start saving all over again. I hope this quote inspires you to take a good hard look at the relationships in your own life and start figuring out what you can do to make them better. You may think some people are never going to change. And you might be right. There are a lot of negative people in the world, but you don't have to return the favor. If you have to deal with these types of people, ask yourself, what can I do to help this situation? Well, the answer lies in making consistent deposits to their emotional bank account without expecting anything in return. If you do this and the situation doesn't improve, I strongly suggest you reassess how important that relationship is to you. A one-sided relationship isn't much of a relationship. But if both of you are making constant withdrawals, you're going to end up severely overdrawn and it's going to be really difficult to salvage that relationship. So make regular deposits and limit your withdrawals and you'll see your emotional bank account start to grow. Just like with money, having a little saved up feels a whole lot better than being overdrawn. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And if you like what we're doing here, please give us a thumbs up. You can also click the little red button below to become a subscriber and that little bell next to it, which allows you to be notified every time a new video goes live. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media. And if you'd like to make an impact on someone else, you can share this video to your social media accounts by clicking the share button below. Finally, be sure to visit our website where you can follow our blog and add your name to the impactful email list. All of those links are in the description below. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Now go make an impact.